your appointment. Perfect. I'm actually going to be your makeup artist today, so let's get you over here. We can check you in and get started with the full process for the, what did you have? You had the full face makeover, correct? Okay, great. Yeah, come on over. Yeah, now I got you. So, I actually, let me just grab my iPad really quick. I just want to confirm some details now. Okay, you have your high school reunion, correct? Very fun. How many years? I'm actually coming up on my 20 in just like two or three years. I have to do the math because it's been a little bit, so you start to forget, right? Okay, so I know last week you sent me a picture of the dress that you're going to be wearing, which is black, and I wanted to do something nice and smoky, but before we settle on a look, how about we do the beauty questionnaire first before we move forward? This way, I can really get to know you, your skin, your preferences, and we can really tailor the makeup look to you. Great. And today, also, we like to give tips and tricks as we go along, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Of course, your ingredients. Alright, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to go grab the questionnaire and we can get started, okay? Uh, no, I believe we're out of stock for that particular oil. But if you want, you can have the beauty advisor at the front desk take her name. And we can also give her a 15% off coupon. Yeah, of course, yeah. No, I know. We haven't updated the system. I don't know what's going on with it today. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Okay, so we have the event, which is the 20-year high school reunion. Are you excited? Good. You're a little nervous. That's normal. I mean, you know, you see people that you haven't seen in a long time, and I feel like there's this pressure and obligation to say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm doing well, but I think once you settle in and start talking to people, we're all doing the same things, you know, we're just trying to get through day to day, we're planning our lives, we're living our lives, we have triumphs, failures, successes, and we actually have a lot more in common than we think, right? <laughs> if we just leave the stigma at the door. Okay, so your skin type, would you say it's dry, oily, acne prone? combo. A little bit more dry to normal. Okay. And do you have any allergies? No. Okay. And do you have any skin concerns that I should be aware of? Rosacea, eczema. You have a little bit of rosacea. Okay. And are there any brands that you avoid due to past experiences? So just the rare beauty liquid blush, all right, no problem. I have a lot of other options, so don't worry. We don't have to even go down that route, especially if it's irritating you. Sometimes ingredients, you never know. Yeah. And your eye color looks to be hazel, am I correct? Okay. Beautiful. And I have a little bit of a red tint to the hair. Here for me. There you go. Perfect. 
very plump and moisturized. Listen, it's normal to have fine lines, you know. This is just what happens. I mean, I always say to people, you know, I, I use Tretinoin, which is a great product that you can get from your dermatologist, but these days there are so many options, whether you do or don't do anything. You can do Botox, lasers, peels, or you can do nothing at all. Either way, you look beautiful, and that's why makeup is so much fun, because we can just add it, enhance it, and feel good about ourselves with the skin that we are in currently right now. Just gotta live in that moment, you know? I know it's tough, trust me. They don't make it easy. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be going in with the vitamin enriched base base for the eye. And this is just going to give us some extra hydration. And really prep us because we're gonna be doing quite a lot of eye work with the concealer and the eyeshadows and I just want to make sure that we are prepped for the full look. Okay, how was that? Right, I have a couple of tools I'm going to be using in my kit, but I want to first and foremost start with hydrating the lips. As we kind of go along with the eye look this way, we can have hydrated plump lips by the time we get to the actual lipstick. So I have this lip mask from Laneige. Laneige, Laneige. I'm always terrible at pronouncing this one. So we're just going to apply this lip treatment to the lips just to kind of hydrate while we work on the eye area, okay? Yeah. It's so important to just hydrate. And this one is really nice. You can do this overnight. I really like to do it just before I'm about to put my makeup on and let it kind of sink into the lips as I apply the rest of my face. I also wanted to ask, would you like me to pluck any stray hairs that I see before I move forward? Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so just, I'm just going to get a little bit close to see a few. Also on the 
Anyways, enough of me. <laughs> Let's see, move. 
Sans eyeliner. We're not really doing much eyeliner and I don't think it really needs it, especially because you have the waterline that is lined. You don't typically need anything more than that. I'm just going to blow on that a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and just shut your eye. I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to place that right there. I'm just going to place that. I'm just going to just going to come in. Just pinch that. I'm just going to be pinching those lashes together. Okay, that looks perfect. I'm just going to grab a Just gonna get on the 
you like and the ones that you don't we 